good evening no 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 good afternoon just checking in um i've been up for a while i've been up since nine had coffee had breakfast um i did some editing i watched a couple of vlogs um of youtubers i follow i was trying to cat do some catch up and follow some new people right now like I said, I'm editing. I'm trying to upload a video that's like taking an hour. But I had a pause in between. Um, I was doing some caregiving roles, you know, helping my sister. Um, and I'm about to edit another video, which will not take that long because it's really short. I'm trying to be consistent this month to see how much I can upload. And later on, um, I plan on trying on some clothes to make sure that it fit for this weekend come try to do a no buy for a couple of weeks or a couple of months or so and i've also been on tiktok um just looking at some of my favorite tiktokers so pretty much that's it so my bed is kind of utilized as my office and I'll catch you guys later. I got a lot of things coming up this week. Later on, I got to look at some school stuff because I resumed. Um, hopefully, I can get back in the swing of things to finish out to get my degree. Because right now, my mind is so off of doing anything pertaining to school. Which is not good. So, I need to get my mind focus again hopefully i can get back into the swing of things because i've been out for almost a year because i had to find um, a place to do my internship and my practicum so and i start this week and hopefully by the grace of god i'm done this year by december so i'm going to be on autopilot and on rush mode not really rush mode but trying to get hit, hit the pace so and try to put in self-care which i'm trying to stay on top of it and not let school work caregiving and social life um interfere with that if that's the word i'm looking for but yeah So, this is how my bed looking quite right now with my phone. <sighs> so, toodles for now. What I washed my hair yesterday, remember I told you. So, I got the band aid. It's healing nicely. So, not might not leave a big scar. I was not exaggerating how bad I cut that knife can literally cut your finger off so so I've been covering it as much as possible because when I leave it uncovered um, the place where it hasn't like sealed yet the cut opening opens up so hopefully by Wednesday it's sealed so I basically had to wash my hair with one glove so that way my cut does not reopen with my other hand which was annoying as hell but i was able to do the task so anyway i'm done talking for now and toodles peace out <laughs> Good evening.
the doctor's office with my mom for like a follow up, you know, and check up and stuff. Cause I drive her, and she don't like driving, and she likes me being there with her. So, and after that, you see, I took did some grocery shopping, and now I'm heading to work. So today. It's been decent so far, so hopefully the rest of the day will be decent as well. I'm slightly annoyed because you know when you have certain expectations and it's not what is happening, let me put my volume down completely. So basically I'm supposed to be starting my field work soon, which um, very, very, very soon. But I'm looking at like all the stuff and the times um, I have to do meetings and actually be at my site. And I have to like work my schedule all over again because that's not what I expected. So basically, I was annoyed that I don't know all the logistics and details. And I wish I knew ahead of time so I don't have to keep revamping my schedule when I where I work and for meetings. So, I'm kind of perturbed and hopefully it will dissipate and it's going to confirm it with my professor slash instructor, whatever her title is. I hate when people use titles interchangeably, but she's my instructor, my course for this um, quarter. I'm on a quarter system, so I'm basically towards the end of my graduate program. So basically just doing field work. So I was not expecting classes, like real classes. I'm so sick and tired of classes. So that time period when looking for a place to do my um, field work, uh, like practicum, I got unaccustomed to studying and cramming. So now it's gonna be a feat and trying to maintain self-care when you barely have room in your schedule for what you have now so i'll be doing three different things like work site and caregiving all at the same time so i'm going to be just going crazy and i'm going to see how i incorporate um my self-care which is very important um in regards in to the profession I'm trying to enter because self-care is very important when we try to work with people. So I am trying to practice what I've been taught. So I'm not going to even try to dwell on anything too much. Uh, I'm just going to try to be positive because I was annoyed for two days. I was annoyed at how to upload some stuff last night and I had to call tech support for my school. It took an hour but it was finally done. So all this little stuff I'm getting so accustomed, not accustomed to anymore. And thank goodness I still have my APA 7th edition. So I can look back on literally my writing is not kicking in. So I'm going to have to write again. So I just have to look at some of my old papers to see how I used to write. Because you know writing and academic writing are two different types of writing. So yeah. So I have a lot on my head and all of a sudden my anxiety kicked in. So that's why I'm just trying to be calm and let things flow. When I let things flow, I am less anxious, less angry, less a lot of things. And less of less stress, which is good for your health. So I'm making a promise to myself that I'm not gonna let this period take me off my game of like basically taking care of myself and it's kind of hard to take care of yourself when, when it's school and work I don't care what nobody say school and work don't really go together school was never meant for people to work because they conflict it really conflicts because I found out on Friday which is not enough time for me to tell everybody my new schedule which I'm doing right now like this morning so it's a simple fact if I would have like months or at least several weeks ahead 
not when the course opened up. I would have been so annoyed. I would have had a gradual acceptance of like, okay, that's how things are gonna be. It is what it is. I can't wait until I'm completely done. And it's a countdown by the end of the year. So I'm gonna be on autopilot. Uh, I'm gonna try to be consistent with my vlogs and I want to, I don't want this to slow down my momentum, but I'm gonna be realistic so I might not always upload when I'm supposed to upload, but you know, I'm gonna upload. That's just one of my um, resolutions to be consistent on YouTube. And yeah, so I'm on my way to work. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. I kind of left kind of early because I was able, when I do appointments early in the morning with my mother, whatever appointment she needs to do, I'm pretty much done early so I get to um, leave early. I'm not a morning person so I won't get up early early unless I'm going to the gym or I have something that I need to do early in the morning. So I'm gonna get there on time and by then I'll probably figure out with my boss on how to use this AT ADP because today is the first day supposed to be using ADP. So so while I'm driving, we'll listen to some music and get my mind right. So that way, I be in a good headspace all day. So I am not gonna let this. I don't know. School always let me get throw me off my game. So I made a promise to myself. I'm not gonna let this happen, especially not when I'm about to be done. So I'm I'm, I'm trying to graduate with honors and. That's still my agenda, even though I'm sick and tired of, you know, I'm legit sick and tired of school. But I, I want to graduate with honors. So, that's what I want to do. Listen to some music. I'll let you guys whenever. Um, I might close out this vlog because I don't feel like, uh, I don't think I need to add more to it because more stuff is coming up. And I don't want to make this vlog way too long when it's not really necessary, especially when I'm not doing a whole lot because I'm about to be very routine-ish. So, toodles for now.